Hey, thanks for joining us on Anchored. This is week one of our series through the book of Daniel. If you've read the book of Daniel before, it is a wild book. Daniel's friends survive a fiery furnace. Daniel survives a lion's den. At one point in the book, a hand by itself shows up out of nowhere to write a message of doom to a king. And that's just the stories of Daniel. The visions are trippy. They're cryptic, they're confusing, sometimes enough for people that they avoid reading the book altogether. And that's a lot of Daniel. It's actually half of the book itself is these trippy visions. And Daniel's interpreters, well, they're almost just as wild as the stories and the visions themselves. And so I want to just give you a few things to think about as you dive into the stories in Daniel and the visions to help you read and get all that God wants you to get from it. Here's the first one. The book of Daniel is for us. Yes, it was written in a specific context for an original audience, but because God is ultimately the author of the book of Daniel, and because God is the author of all of human history, the book of Daniel written thousands of years ago is also for all times, including ours. And so we need to read the book of Daniel as a book for us, a book about our life in Babylon with the same message of hope for us. Second one, don't miss the message of hope that rings true in every story and every vision of Daniel. Babylon's and Nebuchadnezzar's will rise and fall. They did, they will, and they currently are. And God's people like us will live in the mix of all that and experience seasons of struggle and frustration, and sometimes even pain and loss. But God is reigning through all of it, and that is so true in the stories of Daniel. And ultimately, the end of the day, literally, God wins. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bring a kingdom that has no end, and we, together with all the saints before us and after us, will reign with God forever. All right, here's the third one. Read the book like a child. And that can be so hard because many of us have read Daniel or heard Daniel all the way back in Sunday school and the stories seem old. We know them so well that we almost don't know them anymore. I'm gonna encourage you to allow yourself to get caught up in the world of the story of Daniel. Try and let the stories fill you with awe again because the stories truly are incredible, both the way that Daniel lives for God but the way that God lives in faithfulness to Daniel. Also, try and visualize the dreams and the visions in all of their peculiarness and weirdness before you try to figure out exactly what they mean. Because the visions are strange. They're sometimes a little bit uncomfortable. But as we can try to visualize those, uh, the meaning of them will come out and will help us to understand and grab hold of that hope that God is wanting to give us through the book of Daniel. So I'm excited to work through it with you. I hope it's encouraging to you, and I hope that we can cling to the hope that Daniel gets to cling to, that God is faithful to us in all times. And at the end of the day, God wins.